knowledge is the ultimate treasure never stop learning because learning never stops with this beautiful words this is miss anupama welcoming you all on miss anupama's channel my dear students we have already finished the explanation of the science subject that is lesson number 1 the life cycle of butterfly and today in this video i am going to explain the exercise means true uh, fill in the blanks true or false and question and answer so this video is mostly about your notes writing okay and at the end i am going to give you an assignment also okay students chalo we'll start now the first question here is fill in the blanks okay fill in the blanks and this is your textual exercise okay so the first one is the female butterfly lays x what x on the leaves of a plant okay so the female butterfly when i was explaining you the uh, you the lesson that time i told you very clearly that female butterfly lays x on the leaves of a plant okay so the first fill in the blank answer is x second one the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar okay you know this the larva of a butterfly is called a caterpillar okay now we'll start with the true or false yes. now the second question is write true or false okay true or false means whether it is right or wrong okay true or false now the first one is the lamp emerges from an egg okay the lamp emerges from an egg emerges means coming out breaks the shells and come out from an egg lamp means what lamp is it's the egg one of sheep okay so have you ever seen that lamp uh, or the sh uh, sheep lays egg no the lamp the egg one of sheep grows in its mother's tummy okay so the lamp emerges from an egg is a wrong statement okay so what you have to write here it is false okay f a l s c it is wrong because lamp is uh, grows in its mother's tummy now the second one we cannot see easily we cannot easily see the x of an ant because they are very tiny tiny means very small okay so is it true that we cannot see the x of an ant because they are very tiny yeah it's a true statement so it is true only it is correct okay it is correct t r u e true now the third one when the caterpillar emerges from the egg it is not very hungry okay the caterpillar emerges means comes out of the egg it is not very hungry okay you remember what i explained you so it is a wrong statement when the caterpillar emerges from an egg it feels very hungry okay so here not hungry is a wrong statement so the third one is also false okay my dear students understood true or false yes now we'll start with the question and answers my dear students look here the third question is answer the following questions in brief brief means in short also or short in short you have to write down so the first question is asked to us is that why should the hen sit on her eggs okay why should just recall when i was explaining i explained you very uh, detail okay detail explanation i gave you why must the hen sit on her eggs so science will write down in a point so it will be easy for you to understand and learn okay so the first point says that the chicks grows inside the eggs chicks grows inside the eggs they need warmth for their growth they need warmth okay garmi ki zarurat hoti hai unhe badhne ke liye andon ke andar so they need warmth for the growth therefore mother hen sits on the eggs so this is the reason why the mother hen sits on her eggs to give warmth okay this warmth okay this warmth from her body helps the chicks to 
grow and hatch grow and hatch inside the egg okay therefore the hen, hen must sit on her egg for this reason the for this reason the hen must sit on her eggs for the process that the small cheeks are growing inside the eggs okay understood now we'll start with the second question okay dear students just see here uh, we are having a exercise of the first lesson that is the life cycle of animals okay and the second question look here why does a hen become aggressive when she is hatching her eggs okay aggressive means very angry okay krodhit why she becomes that so answer first point hen is alert okay she is very much alert and she fears fears means darna okay she fears for the safety of her eggs okay now she being a mother she is very much possessive very much uh, alert and very much she is bothered about the eggs okay so she becomes aggressive now second point says that so in order to protect to protect the x from intruders she becomes aggressive when she is hatching her x okay so what is the meaning of intruders intruders means uh, hindi mein hum log ghuskhor bolte okay ghuskhor means a person who can enters the place without uh, anybody's permission and secretly secretly it uh, enters and can commit a crime okay so this <coughs> hen is very much bothered and uh, tense from this intruders okay if anybody can comes and picks up the eggs or break the eggs so because of that this mother hen is very much uh, alert and she wants the eggs should be in a protective place so she becomes aggressive during the process of hatching her eggs okay understood now we'll move towards the third question okay friends now look here the third question and the third question says that which are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly okay when i was explaining you the lesson i told you that there are four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly now the first stage is that egg okay egg first stage of the butterfly of uh, butterfly is the life cycle of butterfly is first stage is the egg from the egg larva larva a caterpillar okay we call as larva or caterpillar this is the second stage only and the third stage is the pupa okay life cycle in the life cycle of the butterfly the third stage is pupa and the fourth one is the adult okay fourth one is called adult butterfly okay are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly egg larva or caterpillar pupa and the fourth one is the adult butterfly are the four stages of the life cycle of a butterfly okay understood now the fourth one and last question of this lesson okay friends now see here this is the last question of this lesson okay so the fourth question says that what changes takes place inside the chrysalis of the plain tiger butterfly what are the changes being take place in the uh, plain tiger butterfly okay so the plain tiger butterfly pupa stops feeding completely and shows this following changes in the body now the first change what is takes place just see the first change is that its legs grow longer okay the legs grows longer then second one it develops attractive wings okay pankha okay it develops attractive wings the body grows completely and pupa turns into an adult butterfly okay and it's ready to fly okay butterflies are really very beautiful they look so beautiful so the third one is that the body grows completely and the pupa turns into an adult butterfly and ready to fly okay these are the three changes okay that the tiger butterfly takes place inside the chrysalis okay chalo now the last one that is the assignment i wanted to give you okay
my dear students just listen here this is an activity number one okay like an assignment also what you have to do is draw and color the pictures of a plain tiger butterfly now the plain tiger butterfly is in your textbook also the picture is given in your textbook on page number three okay this is that plain tiger butterfly on page number three you can draw this or uh, another also you can draw but it should be a plain tiger butterfly fly okay draw and draw it in your notebook okay now uh, i think almost it is four and half month we are at home only you are at home only lockdown is going on like uh, mid of march we are at home only so now it's a high time my dear students take little uh, take the studies little seriously and uh, complete all your notebooks and keep ready okay so thank you for watching my all videos and liking it and giving thumbs up okay so thank you so much and do like share subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my upcoming videos and um, keep learning keep smiling thank you so much